So you're thinking about some clown loaches. Well, you, my friend, are in luck because I love clown loaches. I've kept them for over 10 years, and they are great. Now, you got to know about some of their pitfalls and some of all their awesomeness. So they get the name clown loach because they're kind of clowns. They do funny things. They'll carry a stone back and forth in the aquarium. Another clown loach will grab it and run away with it, and they'll chase it. They're kind of like having a little pack of dogs. Now, they'll also sleep on their side in the middle of the tank. Like, they'll just lay on their side. You'll swear they're dead. You walk up to them and they go, what are you doing? I was sleeping. So they'll do a lot of funny things. Also pack 40 clown loaches into a tiny little space. Why? Because that's what they do. It's like a clown car when they come out of that thing. So now we're going to learn about how do we keep them alive long term. In my opinion, one of the most important things is keep them hot. I like to run mine at 85 or 86 degrees. They do so much better in hot water. And so they tend to fight off ick, which is like the number one culprit of killing clown loaches. You'll read about, oh, they're so sensitive to ick. Typically, they're being kept too cool. So keep them hot, hot, hot. Keeps their metabolism up. Keeps them, you know, full of life. And temperatures that hot typically is resistant to ick. It's a win, win, win on that. The next thing is they're hardcore carnivores. They will eat snails. Oh, yes, they will. So if you got a snail problem... You got a clown loach friend, and then you won't have a snail problem. So they'll do that. They love to eat mollusks. So like clams and uh, mussels and snails, like we said, all that kind of stuff. Yum. They'll eat worms, any kind. Black worms, blood worms, tube effects worms, doesn't matter. Glass worms. They'll eat it. They love worms. And then they're not saying no to pellets either. They'll eat anything. They're pretty much the best. Well, I won't say the best, but they, they are a really great bottom-dwelling fish. They've got the barbels, they scatter around those barbels and look around rocks and nooks and crannies and find every morsel of food they can eat. But what's the downside, you say? They get huge! They can get, in my personal care, I've had them get 12, 13 inches or so and about that tall and beefy, thick. You know, they're, they're a giant taco shaped. They look rad, but man, they're a football. It's a two-hander. And that's the problem. When you buy them and they're this big at a pet store, you're going, oh, they're cute. And you'll read, ah, they grow slow. So you got plenty of time. That is true. They do grow fairly slow, but you still need to have them in a school and they're a pack mentality. So if you have three, they'll hide all the time. If you have six, they'll hide most of the time. If you have 12, you'll see them half the time. If you have 30, you'll see them all the time. People always ask in the 800 gallon, why do the clown loaches just dance around the glass? Because we have over 100 of them. That's why. Like they're a pack mentality, strength in numbers. And then you go, well, what are you going to do when they all get too big? I got to buy a bigger aquarium. That's a commitment. I love this fish, but you got to you gotta build a tank around them. So let's say you can't do 100 clown loaches. What do you do? You get a lot of schooling fish in there. Maybe it's rainbows. Maybe it's Congo tetras. Maybe it's tiger barbs. Get some schooling active so that it encourages them to come out. Turn the lights down a little bit so that it's not super bright. The, the dimmer it is, the more outgoing they are. Maybe you get some tannins in the water. So what does that mean? It means the water turns brown from some of the wood. That dims the light and in fact, as an effect, oh, makes them more outgoing. Feed them well. Keep them hot. That's another thing that it makes them more active. And you will enjoy them. pH, I've kept them as low as 6.8. I've kept them as high as 8.2. I've kept them with African cichlids. I've kept them in a community tank. I've kept them in an oddball tank. I've kept, right now, we have an inner gale with, uh, with tiger barbs. We have plecos. We have giraffe catfish. We have all kinds of stuff. The lure of a clown loach is everyone likes them. They go with everything. And they're awesome. So... They get sold in massive quantities. The problem is they don't get sold in the big numbers. So it's like everyone on the planet owns one to two clown loaches when we really need like one third of the people on the planet to own 20 clown loaches. That's the thing. So big groups, keep them happy. They'll spar a little bit. They can change the color as they get huge. Those stripes you see now will even split where you're like, oh, there's like a orange part in, in between the... The black now so they get you know kind of faded out but they will live a very very long time if you do it correctly a lot of times you'll be like yeah i've had my clan loach for like seven years they're getting so big i love them and then the power goes out and you don't have the generator to keep the heater going and then you end up losing them that's like the classic story no i've lost my clown loaches i've had forever due to them getting too cold so 
In my opinion, I always treat clown loaches for ick when they're new to you. If you get them at a PetSmart, you get them at my store, doesn't matter where you get them, they're likely to have been kept too cold in the shipping process at least and will get ick. So quarantine, 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 quarantine. And then when they're doing really, really well, then add them to that display tank and really enjoy them. Give them a lot of hides while they're in quarantine because they're going to be stressed in the tank they're going to live in. Hopefully you got logs and rocks and plants and things like that. When they do get large, they typically will be kind of hard on plants. So a newbie, a second, so they'll poke holes. They don't eat them. They're just clowns. They like to poke holes and stuff. Why? Because that's what they do. They also do a clicking thing. They go... And that's how they talk. They've got a spike under their eye as well, so they can fight. If you ever see that cat claw come out, that's just them wrestling a little bit. They can get you. So if you catch them in a net, that can get caught in the net, or it can get you in the hand or the finger. They love to eat things like zucchini. You can put a big old chunk of that in there, and you'll hear them click. Same with rapashi. Or if you just feed really good, you'll get that clicking action. It's super cool. You can hear from across the room. Uh, I highly recommend clown loaches to anyone with a tank at least 55 gallons and up. I would say that's the minimum. And the reason I even recommend a 55 is you can have a 55, you can take care of them, water change, feed well, and after three years, trade them back in or give them to a buddy and then get some more. Like they're kind of, at that point, they might be six inches. That's a bit much to be having a big group in your 55, but usually you're so in love with it, you're just gonna buy a bigger aquarium. And if you don't, then do the right thing and rehome them and get some new buddies to have in your aquarium.